Okay, we've been learning about money. How many of you would love if you put a dollar in your wallet tonight and tomorrow there were two in its place? Would that be cool? Yeah. Okay, is money magic like that? No. 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 Normally we have to work to get our money, right? We have jobs, we get gifts, we have different ways of getting money, but there is a way that we can earn extra money like that. It just takes some action to begin with. So we're going to do an activity today called the time value of money magic so that we can see how money magically grows by itself. So we've talked about different ways to earn money. Robert has two jars up here. Can you? Yeah. So he can see them. So we have a piggy bank and we have compound interest. So I have the same amount of principal that I'm going to put into both of those investments. Today while we do this, one of your Skittles is equal to $10. So I'm putting 10 Skittles in each of these jars. How much is that worth? 10 times 10? 100, right? So I put $100 in the piggy bank and in my compound interest account. Is my piggy bank investment going to grow? How will that money grow? I have to put money in, right? So I physically would have to find change on the street to put it in there. I have to do things to make this grow. Otherwise, it just stays exactly that $100 that I put into it. Is this a safe investment for me to have at home? Yes, sort of. Sort of. Why might this not be a safe investment? Your house might burn down. House might burn down. I get stolen. Right? My kids come and take my money. My money to spend it for emergency funds. So it's not super safe. We know if we put something into an investment account in a depository institution or like a bank, that that's going to be safer, right? How much does the bank insure our money for? Do you remember? 250000 250000 for each account. So anytime I put money in the bank, I know it's safer than my piggy bank. And the value is that this is going to grow or increase over time. So if you put $100 in the bank, what we're going to do today is figure out how much money that's going to be in 20 years. I get $100 for graduation, I put it in this account, how is it going to grow? Okay. So one person on your team, will you find the 10 yellow Skittles and put that on your plate so that's going to represent your original investment? <laughs> So 10 original yellow Skittle dumplings. What is that? Yes. This will happen when the Skittles came out of this. Did that mess up the game? Okay, so that's our original investment. We all took that $100 and we put it into the bank. We're going to use today the interest rate of 7%. So 7% is pretty decent for an investment. What that means, if we put it in our calculator, is if we earn 7% interest after one year, compounded once, we have added an additional $7 interest to that account. Okay, if each of our Skittles counts as $10, how many new Skittles are we going to add? One Skittle equals $10. We're going to add one more, okay? So take one more out of your bag and add it to your account. So I'm going to add the one more to my jar also. Okay, how are you feeling about that money magic? It grew, right? I just left it in the bank and now I have a little more money. Okay, after five years... Now I've earned an additional $33 in interest. So how many Skittles is that going to be? Three. three more. Okay, so take three more out and put that in your plate. Doesn't matter. 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 Doesn't what would you spend an extra $33 on? Uh, Jared, what would you spend an extra $33 on if you had it magically? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, Leslie, what would you spend it on? Food. Food. Francis, what would you spend it on? 
Okay. So let's leave it in there now for 10 years. <laughs> now we've gained $56 more. So how many Skittles is that going to be? Six, right? We're going to round up. So add six more. Oh, this one's too much. Six. I think you dropped four. Are you ordering two? It's purple, not brown. Okay, ten, 10 years from now, you guys are going to be 27, 28, right? You've earned an extra $96 in interest. Brian, what would you spend $96 on? Um, Clothes. Clothes. Daisy, what about you? Yes. Okay, so necessities, right? You're getting a little older. Loud. Okay, we're going to go... Bills. 15 years more. We've earned an additional 79. So how many Skittles for that? Eight. Eight more. <laughs> wow. Okay, how are you feeling now about your investment? Good. Right? So your yellow has expanded now to lots of other things. It's like a rainbow now. Yeah. Okay, 20 years earned 111. So how many are you going to put on now? Well, the rest of your bag. Okay. So we got one the whole bag. Yeah, it's more 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 Yeah, just in 20 years, because you invested 100 and left it there. Right? Okay, I'm going to do 50. So if you leave it there 50 years, how old are you guys going to be then? 68. 67, right? Ready to retire. You would get an additional 257 Skittles. Did you really count all that? I did count all that. Wow. Dark horse. Okay, so can you see my yellow on the bottom? That's my original. Everything else is what I gained because I left it in the bank. Is that magic? Yeah. It's kind of magic, huh? That's how your money grows.